Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. We're going to do, um, let's do Taurus. Cheers. Let's do Taurus. But first, let's pick an oracle card for you. These are uh, Beyond Lemuria by Lizzie Ivy. Liz Izzy Ivy, sorry. Is the Ivy Oracle card spirit? Taurus. Let's give him a break. What do we have? The infinite. Holy oh, crap. The infinite. It's number 49. 49. The infinite. It's on page 125. 125. The infinite. All right. The eternal life force. Cycles of growth rising from the ashes, many death and rebirth within one's life. You are so much more than your physical body. Yes, yes, you certainly are. We all certainly are. Many deaths and rebirths. Let's go deep. Let's go. Let's go to the Hermetic Tarot. Taurus. Many deaths. Many, many deaths. And rebirth. What does that mean? Let's give him a break. Let's see what spirit's going to say. Spirit. Taurus. Let's go. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Taurus. Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords reversed. The Hermit reversed. The Empress reversed. Wow, am I upside down? No, I'm not. The three of Cups. All right. All right. Uh, Taurus, you're obviously... Um, the Taurus that I'm picking up on, obviously you're not taking time for yourself. All right? Uh, something ended. But you, you know what? With the Ten of Wands here, something ended. It was hard. It was hard on you. And with the Empress, the Hermit, and the Queen of Swords... All coming out reversed. I, I gotta tell you, Taurus, I don't see you making judgment calls. What are you doing, darling? Just sitting back with the Empress in the, ver in the reverse. Normally, if something ends, we start to get ideas and we start to uh, fashion things in our mind about, well, uh, what do I do now? Uh, or what's next? And the hermit in the reverse is not even taking the time to ask yourself that. <laughs> There's just no, uh, Darlin, are you are like you're numb or something? You just, it's like you're numb. Um, the, the Queen of Swords reverse is is intuitive, it is uh, knowing, it is um, 
making judgment calls. It's being able to see before something happens. It's just this, uh, this high resonating to be able to feel the air around you and to know when things are about to happen. But there's nothing there. There's just, Taurus, what's going on, darling? It's almost like I don't see it. I don't feel anything. I, I'm not going within. I'm not asking inside Taurus any questions. I'm not trying to find answers. I'm not coming up with any ideas. I'm going to say that this ending really freaking hurt you. That this ending with somebody or something really freaking hurt you. And, and you're just sort of, well, I, I'm going to say empty. It's almost like you're empty, like a, a numbness come over you. Uh, with the Three of Cups, though, it's a celebration. So what's going on now? And and you know what I find that this is Taurus. Uh, Taurus, I find, can be so low-key. And then just out of the blue, they, they come alive and, and they just start smashing and crashing and... The bowl comes back, but what I've got here is the Three of Cups. There's some sort of celebration. I want to know what it is. But, well, the, <laughs> with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups are doubled up, we've got Gemini here. It said you got a ship coming in. And there's this, you know what, Taurus? I, I don't even think you have to do anything. I think it's just it's going to be one of those very rare opportunities that's just going to come right to your door. It could be a friend of a friend or a friend taking you somewhere or it could be, well, maybe being invited to um, something, a wedding or, or a party somewhere. And I mean, and Christmas is coming. Hey, your, the United States Thanksgiving is coming. There's gatherings. But this is a three of wands. The ship... Wherever this gathering is, wherever this celebration is, there will be your ship. Just so you're going from absolutely to... Uh, <laughs> no words, just sound effects, man. That's all I can do. With the Six of Pentacles, the equal give and take. What? Now, you know, I hear the power balls coming up. Even a, here comes the foolish man. Here comes the leap. There's equal give and take. There's a leap. Yeah, you know what? I, I can't tell what it is, though. The two of swords making a very, very hard decision. But I, I really can't. Uh, and the Lord of Peace restored. <laughs> there you go. Um, Taurus. <laughs> I know the Powerball is coming up in the next couple of days. It's going to be, what, one, one and a half billion dollars or something? You know, I'll buy a freaking ticket or something because you're going to go from empty to totally freaking full and, and just, bam, taking the leap, equal give and take. Wow, it was a hard decision for me to make, but shit, I'm going to make it. And it just, what's going on? What's going on? Five of Swords in the in the reverse, and the Three of Pentacles is rebuilding. Uh, okay, so the the Five of Swords in the reverse is, is a lack, a lack of um, ego. It's a lack of ego. Now, with it right straight up, it, it is well. I like to call it the narcissist card. But uh, this is restoring, rebuilding with the Three of Pentacles, rebuilding the Five of Swords, rebuilding ego, rebuilding one's own self, rebuilding one's confidence. Let's keep going. Taurus, Nine of Wands reversed. Uh, Knight of Wands reverse. You know what? It's 
It's, it's not passion. I don't see love. I don't see passion. But I see a ship. And I see being invited somewhere. This great freaking celebration. And the, and the ship is going to be there. I don't know. Maybe they're going to have a freaking raffle or something. You're going to end up like winning you know, a few thousand or something. It makes you really happy. I don't know. Or maybe I don't see love. But hey, you might be meeting the one of your the one that you love but right now I, I feel that your passion is at an all-time low even though you seem to be extremely extremely happy about something but the passion is eh you know it's like eh who needs the passion who needs it Knight of Swords, this is thinking. And the Four of Swords, thinking and healing and Three of Cups and celebration and Three of Wands and ship coming in and happy, happy, freaking joy, joy and passion at an all-time low. I can't explain it. How do I explain it? Three of Swords reverse. No more pain. I ain't got time for the pain. I ain't got time for the pain. I ain't got time for the freaking numbness that I, I see in the very beginning here because something ended. Something ended. I went numb. I, I don't know, darling. Knight of Pentacles coming in. The lovers. Okay, that's what it is. There you go. All right, but the passion's at an all-time low. Uh, the death card in the reverse. Uh, so, and the devil in the reverse. This is not a uh, new love. Because with the uh, death card in the reverse, something truly is not over. Uh, maybe someone's going to be wherever the Three of Cups is happening. Maybe someone's going to be there. And a uh, bingo, bingo. Thank you, spirit. I'm in. All right. Bingo, bingo. Jeez. God, I'm getting nerdy. All right, so, okay, Taurus, what's happening? Something ended, I feel, mm -hmm. I'm invited to a celebration, things all of a sudden, bam! There's great elatement and joy and blah, blah, blah. Lovers, 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 love. somebody going to be there. Somebody going to be there. You're going but your passion's at an all-time low. So you know, I guess you're not really expecting anything. And then the Knight of Pentacles comes in with the lovers. Now, what is the lovers? The lovers is choosing between two. The lovers is three. Is a threesome, is a third party. And someone choosing between two. And great possibility here. Death card in the reverse. The devil in the reverse. There's great possibility here that uh, Taurus, they might be choosing you. And this could be why. Now, now, we've all seen it. Come on, we've all been kids. Right? We've all been teenagers. And we're sitting around and we're just, oh, I'm so bored. And you're madly in love with somebody. And then somebody comes to you and they tell you, oh, well, guess who just walked in? Bam! All of a sudden, you're up and you, mm, you know, you're making just making sure you look good and, mm, you know, fixing your hair and all of a sudden, and then they walk in the room and they happen to walk in while you're very very excited and laughing and having a good time out of the blue. And this is what I got for this Taurus. <laughs> it is a oh, it's over. It's done. But I've been invited somewhere. Your passion is low. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I've been invited to the Three of Cups. Thanksgiving dinner or something. Or at Christmas. And passion is low. But I'm going to go. And come to find out. By God, there's my ship. I'm fixing my hair. And suddenly I'm full of life. And. Bingo, bango, look at me going, and... <laughs>
Bingo bango. There it is again. Who says bingo bango? <laughs> Stay on course, Taurus, with the temperance card coming out here. We got the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. There's no doubt you want somebody to come back, that you're missing somebody. You, you feel like shit without somebody, tr truthfully. You're just feeling dull. You're, you're feeling empty uh, and you're feeling numb. But uh, that's going to change very, very soon. And it, wherever you're being invited, go. Because that's where your ship is. And we know who your ship is. And someone's choosing you. And there's just uh, all of a sudden this, like I said, this going from mm, empty to totally bam. <laughs> and, and that's the way you're going to be. You're going to see them, and as soon as you notice, they're going to be looking at you. You're going to be pretending that you're talking to somebody. You're all excited, and you're so happy. And, and, and then they're going to be like, oh, look at Taurus over there having such a good time without me. And there it is. There it is. Get her on, get her done. Okay, so who have I got? Virgo's here. Capricorn is here, and Scorpio. There's Gemini. Here's a Libra. A lot of air energy here. There's an Aries. Here's an Aries. Wow, Taurus. Libra is here. All signs on the board, but that's what's prominent. Okay, so um, the infinite, well, your infinite is obviously somebody that you're missing very much. The eternal life force, cycles of growth, rising from the ashes. Well, there you go, because I really do feel that you're in the ashes right now. But you're going to be rising from those ashes very soon. Uh, many deaths and rebirth uh, within one's life. You are so much more than your physical body. Well, I don't know what that's got to do with this reading, but but you are. You certainly are. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste, Taurus. <laughs>